the Dolphins are 14 point underdogs uh, in Buffalo. But again, we're just talking totals here, which this one uh, a little tick north of what it was originally. So now 49. Uh, Jeff, over or under this one? Man, I, I, I guess I got my overcap back on here. I just can't go under in this game. It, it does worry me a little bit that like Miami Dolphins defense or offense, excuse me, could just score like seven points because the Bills defense definitely has been elite for a lot of the year. But this Miami Dolphins defense, they're really bad. Like, I don't think people realize how bad they are. They're bottom five in pressure rate. Even even with getting like one of their corners back last week, they were still terrible against the pass. They've been terrible all year. They're starting to trend well towards the bottom in terms of yards per pass attempt against as well. They've allowed 27 or more points now in four of their last five games. You've got the Bills who've been sitting there simmering for two weeks now. The Bills offense is going to come in here. And, and the reason I want to go over here is because I really think Buffalo could score 40 in this spot. And I just don't want to be on the under here because Tua, let's give him some credit as well. He's played pretty good. And at the very least, Tua has taken advantage of some of these late game situations where the prevent, the easy points are there, much like Jalen Hurts does in Philly. So I, I don't like this one as much as the other two, but I'm going to lean over here just because I don't want to take the under uh, with Buffalo in a spot where, again, they, they could push for a 40-burger. Miami's last win at Buffalo was 34-31, overtime victory. It was Christmas Eve 2016. Uh, just a fun little fact there, unless you're a Bills fan. Uh, Pierce, over or under 49 for the total this weekend? Well, it's easy for them to go over. It's easy for the Bills to score 40 points because they do it every single week. Yep. I don't see why that should change. And I've got the trends here. It looks like Emerson's already looked at some of my trends. And I've got, and I didn't take these from Reed, but uh, here they are. Since 2017, the Bills eight and one straight uh, straight up against uh, the Dolphins, but the over has hit in six of those nine games. If you look at 2015 at or going back to 2015 at Buffalo, where typically these warm weather teams tend to struggle buffalo five and one but they've went over in all six games mm -hmm. so the last six games buffalo versus miami at buffalo it has gone over you look at the week two matchup the bills put up 30 plus points and that was a game where their offense still really wasn't clicking in week one they struggled against pittsburgh week two they still weren't quite there they're not near they're not nearly where they are now and then also you didn't get anything from miami that game because two went out so two is going to get them at least a couple scores. The Bills are going to continue to roll. You have to hammer the over on basically every Buffalo game until we see something different from this offense. Yeah, I'm going to take back my previous comment uh, now. Pierce has convinced me. I'm, I'm very confident about this one as well. Okay. I agree. You don't want to, you don't want to fade the Bills off.